Hello, this is an installation video of how to fit the Duran internal door set. This door set is a push left, which means you push into the room this way. We are fitting this door onto a threshold. The reason for this is there's two different floor heights. One is tile and the other side is carpet. A door set comprises of various components. The door leaf, the door frame, telescopic architraves and flat architraves. Hinges and door handle. We fit the frames together using the screws provided, screwing them through the head into the leg. Making sure it is buttered up correctly and if there's any differences between wood thickness, we even them out. Fit the flat fascia inserts all the way around the frame. They're just a push fit. And can be snapped quite easily when they need to be. When fitting the inserts, don't put them where the hinge cutout is, otherwise this will affect the alignment of the hinge. Now we're going to cut the flat fascias to length. The first thing we're going to do is start with the uprights. The best way to get the measurement is loosely fit the head. Then measure from the bottom of the frame to the top of the head. Make a note of that and then do the opposite side. So now to get the measurement for the head, we loosely fit the uprights using the inserts and the groove. And simply just measure in between the uprights. The flat fascias are glued on using an adhesive which is provided. We also use a double sided tape which we fit along here making sure we don't get it into the groove Otherwise this can cause a problem when inserting it onto the frame. The glue goes around the outside of the frame, between the edge of the frame and the fascia insert. This needs to be done at regular intervals. Not where the hinge cutout is. The next step is to place the uprights on the frame, starting from the bottom, working your way up towards the head. Now I'm going to install the other upright, same again, starting at the bottom. working our way up to the head. Then I install the head. Next, we lift up the frame and check the fascias meet the frame all the way around. If not, a clamp could be used to hold the fascia to the frame until the glue is cured, which usually takes about an hour. So the glue is dried and we'll remove the clamps.
then we'll lift the frame into position. Next step is to level the head. And to insert a packer under the leg if necessary. We're going to install the dorsum, but before that, we're going to use these clamps to hold the frame in the correct position so we can adjust the door. We put a clamp in each corner of the door, enabling us to get the frame pretty level prior to installing the door. We use the clamps to adjust the frame. This one will send the frame forwards and backwards, and this one send the frame from side to side. We're now going to install the hinges. The, cut, the screws come pre-packed and the boxes have two hinges per box. The hinge also tells you that is one side is the frame and the other side is the door, the door side. We pilot where the screw holes are going to go and then fix the hinge using the screws. Now we're hanging the door. We have pre drilled the um, hinge holes and we're using some wind bags to lift the door up. These can be used or you can use packers. We screw the hinge in position. Now we release the wind bags. The hinge can be adjusted in three directions. These screws adjust the hinge up and down. These two adjust the hinge from left to right and these two adjust the hinge towards the seal or away from the seal. Now we have set the door so the hinge side is parallel, the gap is even. We come to the latch side, check the gap also is even and the, the door is not proud or in the frame too much at the top of the bottom. If so, we can adjust the clamps to resolve this problem. If you find that there is a bow in the frame, you may need to put a packer between the door and the frame. If the bow is the other way, you need to put a packer between the frame and the wall and then maybe use a sprag at the bottom to hold it in position. Prior to using the uh, fixing foam, we use some packers in the top, middle and the bottom of the frame. The foam that we use is quite thin and what you find if you don't use these packers is that the foam will fall down to the bottom of the frame. These packers can be removed once the foam has gone off. The foam that we use is really good. It sets really quickly, but it also means that you have to work really quickly with it. So once you start foam mixers in the nozzle, once you start you need to work. And also be careful when you start using the foam that it doesn't drop on the floor or on the frame. Don't use too much of the foam because it does expand quite a lot.
Now the uh, fixing foam has gone off, which takes about 10 minutes. I'm going to foam around the rest of the door with some expanding foam. Just general expanding foam. If it was a fire door, we'd have to use fire retardant foam. And also, there'd be a groove in where the door sits where we could put a mechanical fixing, fix which is then covered with the intermittent strip. Now the frame is all foamed up, we can remove the clamps. The last step of fitting a door is to install the telescopic arc drives. What I do is use an offcut, slot it in the top, the head of the frame, and measure from the floor to the top of the arc drive. And do this at both sides. We offer the telescopic leg up to the frame and mark where the groove cutout is, as this part here needs to be taken out. I'm going to use a multi-tool to cut this out, but you could use a fine tooth saw. So we cut one way down to the uh, flat on the arc drive and then we cut the other way. And cut the excess off. So the arc drive should just now slot into the groove. And like with the uh, flat fascias, when the uprights are in position, we can now measure the head. Now we know the arc drives are all the right size, we can remove them and then refit them with a small amount of construction adhesive and then we're all done.